ever be. Okay. <laughs> we recording. We are now live yeah, let's do it. in my YouTube. Hey, everybody. This is your girl, Eating with Food for Thought, Roberts. And I'm back with another one. This is my third video of the day. This is the mukbang with me and my son, Marlon. We told Daddy to come on out here and hang out with us, but he got them earphones on his head and he act like he can't give up his cowboys <laughs> to come out come here. Out yeah, he probably come out later. Okay, everything looks good. Okay. So, we are doing a mukbang today, me and my son. are doing a mukbang. What you got in there? Oh, Rebecca. I'm glad you said that. Okay, you can't. I need that. Hold on a second. You can't sit them on my table. Let's see what's up. See how you got to do people when they come to your house? And they want to start uh, burning up your counters and stuff? Okay. You can put it right on here. Right on here. There you go. That's how people do you. But that's okay. Well, you're going to get clowning. This might be the last month. Man. <laughs> well... <laughs> Considering that I paid for everything, I did everything, and I just invited my son over here because I love him so well, and stuff. Kick rocks. <laughs> Kick rocks. You could go. Let me try to be my best friend right now. Y'all, tonight, I have not had champagne in months, but I decided to have this champagne. Somebody gave this to me. It's called Moet Chandon Nectar Imperial Rose. And I'm going to drink it out this pretty glass. Even though this is not a champagne glass. That's what I'm using it for tonight. That's a nice glass. It's a very nice glass. This is a Lolita glass. Mm. I love this glass. So, we are having for dinner. <coughs> we got, where my list at? <laughs> I'm sorry, too. Uh, here Where's my list right at? Right here. <laughs> we got crab, shrimp, scallop, lobster, prawn, sausage, garlic, noodles, eggs, pickles, beloved sauce, charter house sauce, and garlic bread. We are going to have a garlic, a garlicistic fiesta mukbang. And we got champagne, sodas, and water. And that's what we're doing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we're getting it in tonight. And if anybody knows me out there, and you guys want to swing on by, come on in. This is our lobster. I always put my lemons in the oven or on top of the stove so that they can get. See all that juice? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. No effort. All that juice. We got on, crabs. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. This looks good, good, good. <clears throat> we got andouille sausage. We got Evergood sausage. We got crab that my baby boy caught. We got scallops in here. We got garlic noodles with prawns. Mm -hmm. We got um, oh, we got some French bread. Mm -hmm. And what is this fish I told you? What kind of fish this is? We have... Um... Rock cod. Rock cod. We got rock cod. cod and prawns, and I fried these prawns in the Cheeto coating that I make myself. I'm going to try this. Did I get a piece of fish? Mm -hmm. Let me get a piece of fish. Mm -hmm. I got some fish. A little piece. <clears throat> try some of this. Mm -hmm. Go all in. I've been at this all day long. I've been in this kitchen since 12 o'clock cooking this, and it is now... Almost five o'clock. Okay. I got my chowder house sauce. This is my own special sauce. This is me and my sister's recipe. My sister started it off and then I made it into mine. But she makes the sauce really, really good. We got pickles, eggs here. And we just want to get it in. And we just want to share our dinner with you tonight. But before I do anything, we've already said our grace. Said grace, and now I'm finna say grace with this champagne. <laughs> Bless that champagne. <laughs> Please, people that go to church drink, you know. No, I already know. People that go to church drink, they be trying to act like they 
Anyway, <laughs> we ain't even gonna get into religion. <laughs> we ain't gonna do that one. No need to go there. Nope. We're not gonna go there. Everybody do their own thing. Do it Whatever how you do it. Makes you happy. Mm -hmm. This is good. Mm, thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm, thank you. What made you decide to do the Cheeto coating? Because I did it in um, Vegas uh -huh. back in October. Mm hmm. And it turned out really good. I just wanted to try something different, yeah. and it turned out really good. Then I found out that other people are doing the Cheeto coating okay. and stuff, And but I never looked at anybody's recipe. I just come up with my own stuff. Mm -hmm. It's pretty popular? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't even tell you. Yeah. I sure couldn't. I want some of this smack delicious, 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 good sauce. Out of here. What is it, baby? Oh, no, I got you. Just drop mine in. That's why I gave you some scissors. I'm better with my fingers. I'm okay. pro at this. Okay. <laughs> I heard you said. And I also got some bowls up here. I call these our trash balls. So, all shells. Everybody got the own trash ball. Mm -hmm. This bread's good. Just got a little last minute. Boy, though. Yeah. You turn off the oven? I did. Okay, cool. Yep, it is good. I wish my sister was here. She told me, she said, if <laughs> I was in the neighborhood, she said, girl, I'll be on my way. I'm going to put this. Is she in California right now? Oh, yeah, she's back. Yeah. She's back from a trip. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's back. And she had fun, I'm sure. My sister always have fun. Mm -hmm. She ain't gonna have no other way. <laughs> <laughs> I like to eat with my fingers too, y'all. <laughs> I do. I want some of this over here. <clears throat> my son always say, no double dipping. That's right. No double dipping. <laughs> Unless you're the only one double dipping. <laughs> oh, well, I'm your mom. I can double no, dip no, no, no. For you, I don't care. I can double dip with you. Mm -hmm. We talking about strange double yeah, dipping. Yeah, exactly. We ain't doing that one. <laughs> we ain't doing no strange double dipping. Mm-mm. Mm. juice will do it to you. Pickle juice will do it to you every time. Yep, How y'all like these good. little cute little um, pots right here? My sister gave these to me many, many years ago. She gave me six of them. I love these pots. They're good for everything. I like the way you did the lobsters. Oh. How you cut them in half. Mm hmm And you fry them. I mean, not fry them, saute, saute them, them. them. butter and garlic. Yep. That's it. I love saute lobsters. Interesting way to do it. I didn't do any um, potatoes because we did the garlic noodles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to get yep. this on out of here. With the garlic noodles. Put it to work. I'm a pro at this, Mama. Yeah, you are. And the garlic noodles have prawns in them. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Can't go wrong with lobster. Nope, Just you can't. Me. Lobster, prawns, scallops. Mm hmm Seafood in general. Exactly. Crab. You like seafood is just it's all good. Oh my goodness. My husband was a seafood king. Oh yeah. And that's who it was with seafood came. Mm -hmm. And make sure you have you some scissors. Amazon. Less than $20. So I think a 12 pack. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm always giving Amazon a shout out. Costco. We and Co. Mm -hmm. All them Coles. Give them a shout out. Let them know you got their back. Exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep, yep, yep. No, I like Amazon. Some of these sausages. I don't even like going shopping anymore. I'd rather just call Amazon, get what I need, and call it good. We got a lot of food here. I mean, a lot. <laughs> That's okay. Try your sauce. It ain't going to get all laid up today. But it will get ate up. Mmm, mmm. Not too spicy for you? Not at all. Mm -hmm. That's good.
This but is I, good. This is nice. This is good. Okay, good. I'm glad you're enjoying mm -hmm. it. This is my road dog right here. We um we work together. My son's a hauler. He does hauling. And tell him about what you do, Molly. Yeah. Um got a hauling business here in Modesto, California. So if you live in this area, Turlock, Modesto, Ripon, even River. Stockton, Riverbank, Riverbank, this whole Stanislaus area. We do clean outs. Um, we have trucks, trailers, do all types of hauling, light moves, whatever you need. Just give us a call. Mm -hmm. Are right you going to leave it on the... You can leave it on there because I'll put it on there. Yeah, say oh, it. Yeah. Say it. It's your number. 209-408-4025. Um, if you're in the neighborhood or you need uh, some hauling or anything like that, just give us a call. We'll come take care of it for you. Not to cut them off. To get that in there not, right to cut, not to cut them off. Yeah. This is a prawn. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those tempura fried prawn, prawns with the Cheeto coating. It's so good. Mm. This is good. This is really good. Too bad we ain't doing a challenge. Do what, Mom? I said, too bad we're not doing a challenge. What's the challenge? I don't know. Mm. We can make up one. You can make exactly. <laughs> Exactly. The seafood all you can eat challenge. Mm -hmm. First one to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> Loses. Okay. <laughs> I'll be in a pass out because I'll be drinking that champagne. Mm -hmm. And I'll be done. <laughs> this is good. The champagne is good. It's kind of sweet for me though. Because I like, um, I prefer a brute. I like a drier type champagne whenever I have champagne. But this is going to work for the night. Now, I have another bottle of champagne up here. It's called La Maraca Processio. Now, I'll buy this at Costco. And they got a good price on this one, so I can buy this all day long. All day long. La Maraca. Mm -hmm. La Maraca. And this crab that we're having, I don't know if I said it, but if I did, I'll say it again, is Dungeness Crab. Lots of people like Dungeness Crab. I don't really care for those skinny crab legs. Oh no! What do they? What do they call those? Um, not the king crab. We're talking not about the king the crab. Snow crab. Snow crab. Uh huh. I'm good. Snow meat in them. I don't really care for snow crab. Yeah. Too You're thin. You're wasting your time with that. It is. It's a waste of time. Dungeness or king crab is the way to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My husband used to just buy Dungeness crabs. I mean, he'd buy four or five of them at a time, and just could take them to work. He would cook them. Take him to work on his lunch break, sit out in the parking lot, <laughs> and just eat crab and throw it out the window. Eat crab and throw it out the window. Oh, goodness. He used to come home and tell me stories about that. Eating crab and throwing it out the window. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. Crab cussing contest. I'm going to break my teeth on this. Mm -mm, you don't. Mm -mm, nope. Because I have a. 20% copay. <laughs> you don't want to mess around. Nope. Ain't nobody got time for that. But it's, um, it's about five or six crabs in here. I cut them in half. Mm -hmm. And I roast them in the oven. And when you watch the first video, you'll see the crabs. Second video has the fish and the prawns. And the fish, prawns, scallops. On the second video. And... This is the third video of today, and I am tired, 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 but I enjoyed making it because I knew my son was coming to have dinner with me tonight, and he doesn't come over for dinner that often, but when he does, I try to make it special for him, and this is special, so I said, you want to do a mukbang? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I sure do, mm -hmm. so we're doing it. Well, I like it. Okay, good, baby. You introduced me to my thing. I didn't even know what it was. I didn't know what it was either. Until my sister and my girlfriend start telling me about it. Yeah. And they start talking about this lady named B Love. And I said, Who is B Love? And they said, She do mug bangs and she this and she that. And I said, Okay, I said, one day I'm gonna check her out. So it was months before I checked her out. Mm. Then I finally checked her out. 
And B Love got me hooked. <laughs> <laughs> she got me hooked. I love watching her, her husband Nate, her son Darius, and the other one, what they call him, Zaddy Chunk Chunk. I love watching them. <laughs> And while I'm here talking about them, let me talk about some of my subscribers. I don't have the names right here, but just a big shout out to all my subscribers. Just a big shout out to all the little YouTubers. If you're a little YouTuber and you're trying to make it, you know, we're going to fake it till we make it. But if you're trying to make it in the YouTube world, join the little YouTubers. They got it going on. I'm serious. They got it going on. Join us. I'm a part of the little YouTubers because I am a little YouTuber. And I have a little over 600 subscribers. Yay. I'm doing it. Yay. Everybody got to start somewhere. Everybody started right where I'm starting at. <laughs> Everybody started there. Okay. People that have thousands of subscribers, people that have millions of subscribers, one day they started with one subscriber. It was taking me so long to get to 50 subscribers, I didn't think it was going to ever happen. <laughs> I said, 50 subscribers, I said, ain't nobody going to subscribe to me, nobody wants to see nothing I'm doing. <coughs> but I made that cornbread dressing, and over 21,000 people wanted to see what I was doing. <laughs> so. that's the truth no that's cool I'm glad you started it because you found your niche you found what you like to do because you always loved to cook since mm -hmm. I was a little boy mm -hmm. but this just adds to what you already like to do you already love this anyway exactly mm -hmm. it was just natural I do like to cook and I enjoy cooking and I had got out of cooking for so long because some of you know, and some of you don't know. My husband passed away over five years ago, and I stopped cooking. I'm like, I can fix me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and, and some milk or some coffee and go to bed, and I'm good. Or I can go out and grab me something to eat. I'm not interested in cooking, but now I am interested in cooking again. And my father lives with me, and, and even with my daddy living with me, I still wasn't interested in cooking. Not at all. You know, I'm like. Got to get in where you fit in. You know, this is not what I do. I like to travel. I like to globe trot. Meaning, I might be here today, next week. I might be in another part of the country, another part of the world. You never know with me because I don't have anything to hold me back. I don't have anybody to keep me back. So, I pretty much do it my way. So good. So I'm glad good. my baby's enjoying it. And these noodles, I went to the Asian market today. I bought two pounds. I cooked one pound. Mm -hmm. But I bought two pounds of these noodles today. Just in case, because I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out and everything. But realistically, I could have just cooked half a pound. They're fresh noodles. And the other pound I put in the refrigerator. And all you have to do is put soak them in cold water. I soaked them for like maybe 30 minutes in cold water. And then I rinsed them off real good. I kept I rinsed them like two or three times. I kept rinsing them to get all the starch out of them. And then I just took them and start, you know, just pan frying them and seasoning them up real good. And they're good. They're really good. Put a lot of garlic in it. Mm -hmm. I used uh, jar garlic this time. Because normally I fix roasted garlic or I fix, um, I take the garlic and I chop it up. But I said, nobody got time for that. I need to get it done. And that's what I did. Just as good. French bread by Winco. <laughs> Already buttered up, ready to go. I just put it in the oven. And then we took it out. My son just opened it up, put it under the broiler for two minutes. Good to go. So if you have not done a mukbang, and a lot of people have done a mukbang, 
It's been very popular. And y'all probably saying, look at that, eat with her mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I am. Me with my mouth open. Do your mukbang with your family or your friends. But, you know, if you're cooking something, like you're cooking some spaghetti, you guys gonna have spaghetti and pizza and stuff. And as a family, <clears throat> sit around the table. Turn that camera on. Start videotaping it, especially if you're a YouTuber. If you're a YouTuber, do a mukbang. Do you a spaghetti pizza, spaghetti pizza hot wing mukbang. Something like that if you want to spend a lot of money. And I didn't spend a lot of money on this mukbang because the lobsters, I already had the lobsters and the fish and the um, crab, my baby boy. He donated that to me. The prawns, I got those from uh, Safeway. They were on sale for $5 a pound. They come in two pound bags, so that's $10 a bag. I bought four bags of those. And I've had those for a while. And then I ran out to the store today. I spent about 15, about 20, 25, less than $25 today. I went out to the store and it was all good. You know, so <clears throat> mukbangs, they have different types of mukbangs. I know the most popular ones are the seafood mukbangs. But you can mukbang anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, anything. Mukbang used to peanut butter and jelly. <coughs> like I said, if I start boiling water, I feel like I need to turn the camera on to film it. <laughs> I always do that. I need to wash my hands. <laughs> I'm my sink is right here. Going in one more crab. Mm -hmm. So these are the crabs that Adam... Yep, your, out. your brother took care of that. Wow. Yep. Adam took care of that. Yeah, these crabs, they came right off Shout the Shout out to Adam. Well, nice. everybody, we have enjoyed you. Remember, if you need Holland and you're in the Modesto area, the Stanislaw County area, because mm -hmm. that's where we are, Stanislaw County, <coughs> call Marlin. Yeah. The hauling guy, 99, he's 99 hauling. You on Craigslist? Find us on Craigslist at 99, we'll haul for 99 bucks. You can email me at marlinw609 at gmail.com. You guys got the number already? Yeah, whatever you need, we can take care of it. Clean it up Modesto, one house at a time. One house at a time. And trust and believe when I tell you, we have been to Modesto. <laughs> and we have cleaned up some houses. Oh, man. And there's been some houses I couldn't even go in. <laughs> and I'm serious when I say this. I couldn't go in them houses. Mm -hmm. It's been some houses that we went to clean up. And the, um, we went to clean up those houses. And the stuff was already outside. And because I'm eating, I'm not going to say what happened. <laughs> but oh, my goodness. It was all Rose bad. Rose City, all bad. For all her, bad. it was all bad. I'm used to it. It was all bad for him, too, but he got a strong stomach. I don't have a strong stomach. Yeah. He said, Mama, just go sit in the truck. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't even do it. I couldn't even do it. And we were somewhere the other day, and I picked up a board, and it had some slugs on it. Oh, man. I dropped it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't do it. I could not do it. But anyway, and she did too. And I, I left it. He came back and yep. got it though, you know, because that's that's what he does. Mm -hmm. But I'm eating with food for thought, the aka the personal chef, Renee Roberts. This is my son Marlon, the 99 hauling guy in Modesto, California, Stanislaw County. And we are doing our mukbang, and we have enjoyed having you share our dinner with us tonight, our little mukbang dinner. And it's just the two of us. Daddy yeah. never came. Daddy never came out the room, so I fixed him a plate. You know, I'm gonna have to heat it up, and I don't like microwave seafood, but you know, <laughs> he'll take it. He'll take it. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> he enjoys it. Okay, I'm pretty done with this champagne. Mm -hmm. But cheers. <laughs> cheers to the mud bang. Right. Cheers to the mud bang. I love you, <laughs> I love you too. This is good. Thank yep. you. Yeah. You welcome. You welcome. Me to your show. <laughs> <laughs> This is good. And this is our show. So, okay, next time 
I'm gonna get these uploaded and I'm gonna upload them <clears throat> one at a time. They'll be up this will be uploaded next week. Okay? So with that being said, thank you guys. I appreciate you. If you're not in the JJ Smith 30 Day Green Smoothies for Life on Facebook, come on by and join us. I am the administrator of that group and we would love to have you. Come on by. If you're thinking about a change in how you eat and whatever, and don't say nothing about like, oh, she talking about how you eat, but she's sitting up there eating butter and crab. And, Heck yeah. Enjoying sure yourself. Eat. Enjoying yourself <laughs> tonight. I don't eat like this all the time. Right. That's what I don't do. Mm -hmm. I watch what I eat. But tonight is a special night because, like I said, my son is here, and I knew I was going to do this mukbang, and this is what I wanted to do. And so it's special to me. And it's special to me that those of you that are watching, that's special to me. Because when people subscribe to my channel and they watch me, when I see I'm getting views, even when I'm not getting subscribers, somebody's interested. Somebody took the time out from what they were doing to sit up and watch what I'm doing. And I got a whole, whole lot of stuff to do. I mean, a lot. So with that being said, thank you guys. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, you guys. I gotta wash my hands before I can do anything. Deuces. <laughs> Me being silly. Okay, you guys, thank you.